my 2017 goals video well hair goals to be exact and uh, it's a new year you me <laughs> so deep condition my hair at least once a week so in this slide you can't really see it as much as outside but my hair is burgundy i dyed it for the new year and with dyed hair your hair is typically coarser and drier so for me deep conditioning at least once a week will keep my hair moisturized so, number two do more protective styles protective styles protect your hair obviously hence the name they also make your hair go for me especially so twists box braids crochet braids full locks weaves if that's your thing anything like that should make it so number three um oh go number three trim my hair every three to four months i usually do trim my hair but not every three or four months because sometimes i don't have the time or i just forget and yeah you don't want your ends to look raggedy so that's you trim your hair that brings me to goal number four Goal number four, I need to stay away from the scissors. I am a very scissors happy person. So cutting my hair is not a big deal for me. I always say it'll go back. So sometimes when I'm just casually doing my hair, I end up snipping some of it off. So I pretty much have a tapered cut at this point and I vowed to not cut my hair until I go to college in August. So we'll see how that goes. Yeah. Goal number five. Stay up to date with my hair vitamins. I use Nature's Bounty and you take two a day. I used to take them last year, but they started making my face break out. So I stopped for a while. And then I started taking them recently, like one a day to see how my face reacts and stuff like that and my face didn't really break out much maybe no i'm not gonna lie it was like one pimple and i don't get pimples really so it's this one right there but that's not the point um yeah so stay up to date with my hair vitamins two a day goal number six um try new products recently I tried the cow's daughter pomade, the mimosa and honey, I think it is. And the thank God it's natural or is it I'm natural? One of those is one of those. They both worked so well for me. So that's my goal to try a whole bunch of new products. Goal number seven is to get better at doing my own box braids. The full locks, not a problem for me. The semi twist, not a problem for me. Marley twist, not a problem for me. Crochet braids, not a problem for me. But it just seems to be that when it comes down to the box braids, I don't know, I just don't like the way they look. Goal number eight. Use the lock method more. That goes back to what I was saying about how my hair is dyed and it needs more moisture. So, moisturizing my hair more often than I already did because my hair is kind of dry. It retains moisture, but not as long as I guess you can say the like regular person would. So, moisturize my hair more. Goal number nine do more snap tutorials. I feel like that was a good um, concept. Snap tutorials on our Snapchat. Basically, it would be something like me washing my hair or me making a pre poo and we basically break that down into steps on Snapchat and it was very popular. A lot of people used to watch, screenshot, ask questions about it, things like that. And goal number 10 is to grow our fan base overall. We need more Instagram followers, more subscribers on YouTube. We need more 
um, viewers on Snapchat, things like that. We need to be more visible to the natural world and all worlds, whatever, all worlds in general. So I think that's it for my 10 goals for hair 2017.